If you guys want to be able to chance to win this giveaway for the Monster Hunter Rise Nintendo Switch Pro Controller and Collector's Edition, be sure to click the link in the description box down below. Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter Rise. And in this one, I want to put together a quick guide to the kin set. So I will, of course, be speaking more about these in the upcoming Insect Glaive Weapon Workshop. But for today, I want to speak specifically about the kin sects because in Monster Hunter Rise, there are some fantastic new ones with some new behaviors that uh, honestly make using the glaive even more fun. I said this before in my previous video, but Capcom definitely hid all the cool stuff for glaive in the demo because, yo, if you play Insect Glaive, there's a lot to be excited about. So in this video, I'm going to go over all things Kinsect. So if you guys do enjoy this, I'd like to be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions. But to begin with, first things first, when it comes to uh, buying or upgrading your Kinsect, the system has now changed. No longer do you need to buy a base one and then upgrade it down the tree. You now simply buy the Kinsect that you want. Much like armor sets and weapons, as you progress throughout the game, they will come in different rarities. But as you get towards the end of the game, you will of course get uh, your higher rarity Kinsects. Now when it comes to getting or selecting your Kinsect, there are three categories you need to keep in mind. Their attack type, the Kinsect type itself, and the Kinsect bonus. So to begin with, attack type is either severing or blunt. Pretty standard, much like your melee weapons, severing can cut parts, and similarly your Kinsect could therefore cut tails, and blunt can of course deal KO damage, which means if you did the uh, you know attacks to the monster's face, they can also KO. So first things first, you can just choose based on whether you want severing or blunt. For every Kinsect, there will be one of each type, so you can kind of just pick and choose depending on what, you, uh, what style you like. Beyond that point, you then have Kinsect type. The first one is normal type. This is basically just for your starter Kinsects. Beyond this point, you won't really encounter this because normal type have no special characteristics. However, following on from there, you then have the powder type, where uh, when the target is marked, keep in mind with your Kinsect, you can either you know physically fire out a mark, or if you hit with the back of your glaive, you can also mark it. And when this is marked, the Kinsect will automatically attack this location, leaving behind clouds of dust called Kinsect Powder. And of course, this powder does have differing effects depending on the type that you have. And if you strike this dust, it will also detonate. So these ones we have seen before. Following on from there though, you then have the assist type, which are fantastic. These can utilize three types of extract, and when mounted on your hunter's arm, they will attack together with your hunter. It's important to note with these ones, they will only attack at the end of some of your more powerful moves, and they'll only attack if you have the triple buff active. So if you have no buff, then they're not going to attack with you. But as you can see in this situation, with the buff active, they then uh, kind of like work with you in some of the combos when you sort of finish it. I've got one of the new switch skills uh, selected here. And as you can see, the kind of Kinsec joins me for the last sort of a few attacks in this animation. Honestly, it's fantastic. I just love how it looks. It looks so cool in motion. But that is the assist type. And then finally, you have the speed type, another new one, where when the Kinsect is on your arm, it automatically charges up whilst mounted. And then once it's charged, your glaive will then glow blue, both the glaive and of course the, uh, you know, the Kinsect itself. And then when you throw this out or you fly it out, it deals massively more damage. This basically kind of increases its attack power. Now, of course, once you sent it out, it then consumes the charge and then goes back to default damages. But then once you call it back and keep it on your arm for a little bit, it will charge up again. And then, of course, once you send it out, you can do more damage. So uh, this is a really cool new addition. And those are your Kinsect types. Beyond that point, all the Kinsects also carry a bonus. So uh, there's a few new ones here that are pretty exciting. First things first, and I love this one, and it's kind of uh, almost hard for me to go back now. You have dual color, where with this one, you can see the actual Kinsect icon is somewhat sort of split in half. And when you send this out and it sort of hits a location, it grabs two different buffs. It'll grab red or white, or white and orange. So when it comes to gathering, you only need to basically throw it sort of in the general vicinity, and uh, you can grab two extracts incredibly quickly. This is also broken into dual color attack or dual color speed. As it suggests, dual color attack does more damage when it collides with the monster. Meanwhile, dual color speed is slightly faster to uh, send out and recall. After that, you then have auto attack frequency up. This is, of course, typically with the powder insects because it basically makes it so that it attacks more times or more frequently on the uh, tagged location. Meanwhile, the idle stamina recovery up makes it so that when you call it back, it recovers its stamina more quickly. You then have the charge chain attack, which typically synergizes with the speed type Kinsects. For this one, it dive bombs the location. Of course, this is uh, more sort of damage focused. Again, pair this with either severing or blunt could be a good way to cut tails or land a KO, but this does uh, a multitude of attacks. Also keep in mind, this only works when it is actually charged, i.e. blue, not just during the regular time you send it out. 
Alternatively, you have the fast charge option. Again, similar synergizing with the speed one. This speeds up the rate at which it charges to the blue state once you return to it. So of course, this way, if you want to kind of use that to maximize that damage output, then uh, you can kind of get to that charged up speed bonus faster. But that, my friends, is pretty much it. That was a quick rundown on the uh, new Kinsec types. Honestly, they are fantastic. I've just been loving using the dual color one. Might not be as fast as some of the regular ones, but honestly, I just really like the convenience of basically being able to gather incredibly quickly. Pair that with the fact that they see assist type as well. I just like having the sort of Kinsec fight with me in combat. I really like these. But anyway, for the time being, that was a quick look at the Kinsects. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And do, of course, keep it locked because we've got plenty more Rise coverage coming your way. If you want to catch more from us at Arex Gaming, don't forget you can catch the guys 269 Paradise Central and Vestmore streaming over on Twitch weekdays, playing a variety of games. If you guys want to jump in, tune in, watch, and even join in, then make sure you check them out. The links to those are in the description box down below. And of course, you can join the Discord to get involved in all of the discussions.